everyone. I am doing this video today for, especially for Barbara Alexander, and uh, she's a good friend on YouTube, and she has got, um, you'll have to go watch her video. I will link that below, but she's got, she's had tons of stuff. She's had all her papers and all her scrapbook stuff stolen, and a big mess. So anyway, she is getting back into the scrapbook community and is real curious about how things are being done and things like that. So she's asking us to show her. So, um, and her birthday, I'm doing this especially because her birthday is the same as mine, October 4th. So happy early birthday, Barbara. And, um, so, but we won't show our age, share our ages. <laughs> um, anyway, Barbara, I wanted to show you a couple of things here. Um, I am a member of, St of a Stampin' Up! group, and we actually did this card in class, and um, we did some different things, but I made this one for you, and I'm going to show you exactly how I made it. Now, there's a couple of things that my Stampin' Up! instructor had that I didn't. So, but I'm going to show you how it was all done. Okay, first just take some cardstock. Okay, and any color will do. And then uh, scrap pieces of paper. As you can see, anything goes. Um, this right here, and you just layer them. That's what this is. Basically, a lot of this is layering. And this right here. Is from a scallop punch. This is from my punch right here. And um, not just Stampin' Up! makes these. All sorts of people make this. You can find these at Joann's or Michael's. Um, all these punches you can find there. This right here is just simply torn. This orange paper right here is just torn. And then you've just got another layer. This right here is just all one piece of cardstock. Okay? And then tie a ribbon around there and just add a little simple knot. And I ran out of this ribbon, but this is the same ribbon. It's just grow grain ribbon, and this is just a dotted grow grain ribbon. And um, not only Stampin' Up! makes this, I mean, you can get grow grain ribbon, you know, anywhere. Walmart has it. And um, I almost used this yellow, but I thought it would be too much yellow because this is like a mustard color. And I don't know if you can see this really well, but... This has got a distressed edge here, okay? And how you distress it is you take a distressed tool. Okay, Tim Holtz also makes these, and you can find these at, uh, you can find the Tim Holtz brand, or you can get it at Stampin' Up, of course, online. But you can get the Tim Holtz brand at Joann's or Michael's. And then what you do is you take the end and you just rub it. This has got a blade, not sure if you can see, it's got a blade inside those crevices. And this is a really cool tool because it's got like the scissors and a, like an X-Acto knife and a blade that makes these dotted lines and which is really cool for ticket tickets and tabs, you know, to tear off. But anyway, that's all I did and I did that around the yellow cardstock and also around the white cardstock. Okay, this stamp didn't belong to me. Um, it was my instructor's, but we just stamped a plain, just regular tree. And then we um, stamped some flowers and we cut them out. We just fussy cut them out and um, just using one of these little flower, flower stamps, whichever one you want. Now, I also don't have all these colors of inks and let me show you a little tip like a little shortcut that you can use and it will save you a lot of money and you don't have to worry about buying all these inks I just bought one brush marker set okay these aren't markers these are strictly for stamps so you, what you would do is you take your stamps and then you would take your marker whatever color you want and I'll just do an orange Okay, and then you color on it just like this. And you can do different things, like you can color the center in orange and the color the outside and yellow or whatever. 
And then you do what they call huffing on it. You just, you know how you uh, would clean your glasses off, how you kind of breathe on it? And that just wet, wets it and um, reactivates the ink. And you just stamp it. Just simple as that. It's really, really cute. And how I clean mine, I just take a baby wipe, and that's how I clean my my mark uh, stamps. Now, if you use a stays on, that's a completely different ink. That's more of a permanent, and you're going to need special um, solvents to clean that up, unless you want to keep your stamp black. Um, so anyway, there's that, and um, and then I just lifted these up up with some pop dots. And you can get these anywhere. I just use a little foam square. See how thick they are? And I just lifted them up with that. And then this right here is an oval oval um, punch that you can get. And I pop that up. And then I use this right here to cut that out or punch that out. And then I just wrote happy birthday. Um, in calligraphy. You can use your own handwriting or you can have, if you have a stamp you can do that too. A lot of people love your own handwriting too. It makes it more sentimental that way. So that's how I made the card, the card that I'm sending you. And then I just made this to go along with it. I thought this was really cute and it matched it. And I don't know if y'all ever go to um, places that have the little coasters like Chili's and places like that that have those coasters, well, save those because you can cover them. They're real, real thick. You can cover them with your paper. And they make really, really cute little backgrounds, cards, things like that. So that's all this is. And I covered it with some paper. And then um, here, you just cut out a bunch of scrap paper here. And then this is another punch set that just makes it look like it's ripped out there. And then a tab. I don't have this tab either, but you can use anything. And um, this is another one that I got from Stampin' Up. Of course, no, I'm sorry, EK Success has this one. And you just punch it out and fold it over, and you have a tab. So, and then you can stamp some more of those little, little cute little flowers. See all these different ones here? That came from, where is it? The stamp set. So, um, and you can get little flower stamps anywhere. You don't necessarily have to get them, you know, from Stampin' Up, but um, they make really cute little, you know, just little cute things. So, um, besides, I think that's retired anyway. But you can use anything. It's just, you know, use your imagination. It, you know, you can do so many things. And and then this, of course, here is a scallop punch. And scallop punch looks just like this. Just looks like a big flower. And then I just took a, like a needle um, punch and just put a hole in each one of the petals. Just give it kind of some more flair. And then I used the circle punch to do the yellow and the smaller circle punch to do the white. Um, circle on top of it just to give it some more definition and dimension and you just stamp whatever image um, or whatever saying you want or you can just write you know so again you just put the make sure you put the ribbon on first see it's just tied around there like that and then just add a little clip like this a little alligator clip and just tie some cute little ribbons make it fun and interesting and um, there you have it. So I hope this helped you a lot. And um, again, happy early birthday to you. And I will be sending this out tomorrow. And love y'all. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.